Hello everyone, <clears throat> welcome again to my channel and to my videos of a great game called War Banner. Today I will be continuing with tips and tricks for your successful gameplay. And from start I want to show you that you can change your nation that you choose when you start playing this game. <clears throat> so if you maybe don't satisfied with your nation then you can choose by going to town hall and change your nation but you must know that every change of nation costs a lot gold I will, don't, I will not doing that now I'm very satisfied with Russia because I heard they are very strong in this game also good nations are Great Britain, United Kingdom, America and France. All other nations are not so strong, but they have their, uh, for example, why and connection is restored. So today let's start I telling you more about tips and tricks about this game and best advices for a successful gameplay. I encourage you to watch my other videos of this game to see rest advices and today I wanted to show you tell you about premium troops and premium troops are very nice they are strongest in games and so I advise you always almost always in shop you can buy these British grandeurs with very small amount amount of contracts as you can see only four is needed and they are very 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 strong they are amazingly strong as you can see here is range damage damage and accuracy is very high only problem is they don't have many of them so you can combine them for example always if you started playing this game and don't have enough contracts for other troops it's best to buy them they will destroy any enemy fortifications very easily but you must combine them with regular troops for example I like them to use and for example this don't use at all these upper so called snipers as you can see this is uh, here the, again sniper so they are not so strong so you must use only line infantry as you can see this is line infantry for I, I cannot tell you how, for example, line infantry to tell you how to know line infantry. Um, yeah, you you can you can know <coughs> it is line infantry by looking number of troops in it. For example, they have a lot of troops. For example, premium troops are great because they have a lot more number of troops than your regular troops for example here in this French Marines are 36 number of troops and for example here is just 27 as you can see so that's why premium troops are so good and only use them so this is very good. <clears throat> this is important you to know so when you start battle for example let's go to campaign and wanna start to attacking some player you can zoom out I wanna attack some not so strong player to I tell you This is trick that I explained in other video 
to find, for example, like this player that have less than 100 glory points. So someone already attacked. Uh, so let's why not attack it? And we start battle. Come on. And here are resources I'm gonna get. I wanna see if he put some troops to defend defend his his town. So I to know what kind of troops I to put. And for this you're gonna need spy or reconnaissance if you want. I have a lot of them. You can get them this spy glasses and so you can recognize uh, your enemy by attacking other players that explain the other way for example let's use one oh and, and you can see he put a lot of troops so let me show you how british grenadiers are great let's put some hero that i unlocked me. I want to tell you some other advices how to be successful so I want to put my line infantry some my regular for example my regular line infantry oh yes I will explain you more about this troop that never gonna die they can only be injured and gonna wait for example I will put some of them as you can see, they never gonna die. I will explain you how to make them. And some British grenadiers, um, they are, they are having no, here they are, mortal men. Put some British grenadiers. And battle can start. And as you can see, you can also put orders on your troops so you can destroy them faster for example let's intentionally want to they go attacking me as you can see they throw explosions on them those british here these british grenadiers they they put explosions on them firing expl explosive things and you can see how they are strong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now you can see how they destroyed fortifications like they are nothing. They destroy fortification like they are nothing at all. But you have to wait and again be destroyed. So they they are why they are so strong. Okay, let's help these my troops with some health. Both boost oh come on and we will win this battle very easily and it's done as you can see they destroyed this fortification like it it is nothing and here is what you're gonna get from this battle for example so you get resources of course and you get these components that you can build these orders at my right side and you can some of them build contracts and some you can build spy glasses so you can know for example this and these premium troops are lost so when you use in battle they are gone so i will now explain you how to make these so-called immortal troops come on where is music here we are so <clears throat> to make those immortal troops that that can level up you go to remember so we get let me see if I can build some order 
No, we, I cannot. So you can these components get from battles, and this is where you can spy your enemy and know what kind of troops they put if they put any troops so you can defeat them very easily so if this is important so if you spy i don't encourage you to spy them at all because i explained you in trick in my other video how to attack enemy without losing any troops just using immortal troops or your weakest troops and don't have to use premium troops to to successfully win battle now I will tell you just let me how I can remember where are, where are those ah <laughs> yes yes here it is sorry sorry I forgot so you go to army and this is your unique unique troops and they never die so if they die all troop if only one troop from 28 for example survive battle then this troop don't die but if all troop dies all of 28 for example then they will go to hospital and if you if you're this immortal I, I will call them immortal troops if they are low level they will resurrect in hospital for free in about half hour or one hour if they are a bigger level so I encourage you when you attack players to use them all because they are an expensive you you don't build them with resources they are always here and I cannot now show you how to make them because I will erase these things so you must be careful to for example if you click on them for example you make them when you click this troop you want to make immortal I advise you to make line infantry as you can see its icon that means it's line infantry and best thing to know is if it's line infantry is how many troops it have so i advise you to put to unico troops only line infantry or so don't put for example this very weak troop or snipers because they are weak against enemy best thing is line infantry and i, I cannot uh, explain you how to make them i think you can click him you, you will have empty spots here and just click empty spot and click this line infantry and you will make it immortal and you can use them in battle as you can see I have all heroes that can level up which with each battle they can level up they get one point and support yes now let me tell you something about support these support troops are very nice, but only use them against very strong players. They, they help your troops that are wounded to heal them. And they are very strong, very, very hard to kill this field doctor. is very hard to kill in battle. So it is very nice to have against <coughs> some player that he, he have put a lot of his troops and he have a lot resources to take so then you use field doctor i will now see to go to some battle to t show you how field doctor works you can hire them for example you can hire them here as you can see they are very cheap but not very expensive and they heal your troops very nicely uh, so so to summarize and uh, we will go another battle to show you again how this field doctor works how he heal your troops very easily but when you use it they do not come back to your town so you they are like lost almost like they are killed like your premium troops 
So if you use so if you use some premium troops in battle, they disappear like every other troops, also your regular troops. Only troops that do not disappear is your, here this my tree unlocked, Unico troops, I call them immortal troops, they do not disappear at all, they can only be wounded and you cannot use them for some time, but when the time runs out you can use them again so let me now show you how this field doctor works uh, just to stay here to tell you more about okay let me show you in other video i will make if something i miss about tips and tricks if i something miss i will make more video about it let me show you that battlefield doctor how it works. This one was very very strong, I don't want, so I go back until I find good target. Okay, let's let's for example show you a little stronger target. I hope he put some premium troops to I destroy to show you how field doctor is very efficient. Unfortunately, not many resources it have. And this is it. Okay, I will no Okay, why not? Let me show you something more about this. So I put immortal troops, as you can see. Yes, I will now show you also Field Doctor how it works. I'll put some here, why not? As you can see, he didn't put any defense just fortifications left to destroy so I put these immortal troops here and let me show you some field doctor or war doctors here called let me put one here one here and one here they also use points but very small number just two and let's battle start and now you will sh see how they heal your troops and for example they are wounded but when they stop they will start healing them as you can see they immediately heal them yeah as you can see almost they cannot almost kill them and they are very cheap to buy those field doctors from those buildings for that building man. for example as you can see they have many amounts that they can kill your troops so if you see some player put very strong troops then you deploy some of these field doctors and as you can see they almost didn't kill any of my troops but use those field doctors only when you need it and for like this when he didn't enemy didn't put yes we won what i get nice i didn't i get intelligence that i can spy on other player if i want and they are used unfortunately you must buy them again and this is experience that these immortal so-called troops get and eventually they will level up and get stronger and have more troops in it as you can see this one have 29 and this one have 28 of troops i already make another <laughs> big video i hope this my videos were useful to you and have nice time watching it i hope really unfortunately I didn't show you how it looks like when those immortal troops die, but they will appear here. You can revive them faster with gold, but I don't advise you, I just advise you to this time when they are wounded and here in they time to just run out and they will be back for another attacking. So you buy field doctors here 
to summarize things what I tell in this video, buy some premium troops and save as you can see I have army, these, do these down they are my premium troops, I have a lot of premium troops that I collected over time, but as you can see I didn't have to use any of them, because that trick I told you what what uh, in my other video war banner trick I explained you how to find enemies that didn't place any defense and easily to uh, attack them without using any premium troops but you must know if you really need a lot resources you will have to eventually attack players that have a lot resources but they put a lot lot stronger defense so always use against such strong players field doctors and some premium troops and i advise you to don't use against them any of these unique troops because they are not so strong as premium troops and i think that that would be it for this video i already make it a lot big this video so i I think I have to make more videos of this game to show you other some tips and tricks. So that would be it. As always, leave like and subscribe as some little support for me. Every support is nice. And of course, if you're somewhere stuck in game, stuck in game, just leave comment and I will try to help you. And don't worry this game is really fun especially with friends in clans that is where real fun goes when you together have to attack promises so that would be it for my video thank you for watching and see you next time in other videos bye